a six foot five, 335 big man throws a pass and a fake field goal to advance in the playoffs. That's just two of our top 10 plays coming up. That's Chris Stonebreaker. I am Steve Montoya. And if you want to be on this show each and every week, just remember to use the hashtag MP Top Play. All right, let's show you them. Here they are, the top 10 plays of the week. All right, we're going to start with the big guy here. Dean Cook and Chris look at the QB walks off like, hey guys, what are you doing over here? Can I hang out with you? And then the big guy goes, I don't think so. I'm going to drop back here. And then he's going to show off his arm. Chris, this is a two-point conversion. Nice laser there. Perfect. Team's pumped. The big guy's pumped. He's walking on to campus the next day, talking to everybody, saying, you know, I'm going to try for yeah. the quarterback spot, right? You know, I should have been there. Crutches down here in the bottom also is always good. Number nine this week started out like a play that belonged on the not top ten segment, but this busted fake pump by Eustace High in Florida is now on the top ten because of Jarrett Novak's elusiveness and strong arm on the run, hitting Jit Revis Relaford down the field where he only has to beat one man and follow his walkers for the 78-yard TD Showing here, look at Jarrett Novak. Just get away on the run, throw it down the field, and then Trevis Relaford just had to beat that one, and then next thing you know, he's off and running. Get that lean on. Get that get that one leg longer than the other with Trevis right there. That's right. All right, watch out, QB, because here comes Jalen Senegal with the big time hit he's pumped hopefully that qb's all right he looks like he's okay he's gonna get back up and when you're hit from the blind side chris qb has no chance he comes in there destroys him big hit nice deep play there big game out there in the Probably league. a little upset with his offensive line now out in tennessee trezevant four star running back cordarian richardson shows that even though you get lower than your opponent the bigger, stronger player prevails sometimes as the running back trucks his way in for the score, running over one would-be tackler, and then going on to drag another 10 yards for the 45-yard TD. This hit made the singers, I mean, sorry, I, was, I got ahead of myself. The defenders sing, take me to another place, take me to another land. Okay, yeah. I see what you're doing yeah, there. Yeah, it's Tennessee. I got gotcha. you. Okay, Jack saying, hey, quiet down, Chris. I, it's my turn here. I got the one-handed pick. Stop singing and watch me take this one back all the way down inside the 30 for his offense. Watch this, Chris. Ooh, leans in to the stride. Inside to grab it with his right arm, pulls it in, gets his offense in position. Menlo's Jack McNally with a nice pick there, Chris. You got a better one, though? I think so. Number five comes from Sturgis High, and this is in Sturgis for the motorcycles. This is in Michigan. Sophomore safety, Brecken Stewart catches the interception while lying on his back after the ball was tipped, kicked, and bobbled. Sturgis ended up beating Plainwell 21-9 thanks to great plays like this from Stewart. And I always like waiting to see the refs call now. You know, Steve, yeah. with, with all these plays, because when they get a top play, they know it and want to give it that great call. Back ref calls it. This guy's like, yeah, I'm going to confirm it. Watch this. Opposite. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. Showed a little bit of that coordination. Now get together, guys, and see if you actually called the right play. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here comes J.K. Hey, Dobbins, and he is just making defenses look silly here. All the defenders trying to go after him, but he's on a mission, Chris, and you're not going to stop someone like this. And when I was looking at this play, the first thing I thought of, because of the jerseys, was Leonard Fournette. Just because they kind of look like LSU. I was, I was telling yeah, you we that, telling and you that. confirmed that. And he not only makes uh, the defense miss, he missed a couple of his offensive guys who fell on top of him miss as well. And when you're just running like this, you're not going to be stopped. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say, I love the effort by number four. I'm going to point that again out to you, Chris. I said that. I always love the effort from the players that might not have any chance. Now, check to the coaches on what you want to do, and then you know what? Throw it in an INT, and in this instance, Trinity Christian of Texas, Tavion Carter. 
takes the ball out from eight yards deep in the pouring rain, breaks tackles from every player on the offense, proving why they are on offense, Steve, and then outrunning them with the help of teammates blocking for the 108-yard TD top play. Right here, underthrows his wide receiver. So, you know, the wide receiver wanted to try to be a defender there and knock it down, but you know what? Tavion was just a little too strong, and he's proved it there, yeah, getting it out of like the end zone. And he's proven it here with no one able to tackle him. Maybe it was the rain. He was a little slippery. They couldn't get their arms on him. But even here, good block by his defender right there and into the end zone for a TD. All right, Chris, this one's a little weird here. It's a botched snap. Then he's locked down. Look how pumped the red team is. But then he fires it back. Okay, that's cool. Maybe this guy can get some yards. No, wait, he's going to throw it. And, and yes, he's yes. going to catch it for the touchdown. Exactly how this play was designed. The team in red's like, are, wait a minute, are you are you serious, Clark? He's that just that. happened. To, uh, look at them down there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, wait, what? Wait, what's going on here? Wait, no, no. Oh, my. Look at 50 right here. Oh, just head down. Oh, 73. Geez. Down on the ground. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh. What? Oh, how did that happen? <laughs> I don't know. Now, Dominic London running back from East Ridge High in Minnesota not only makes this week's top play, but also gives his team a game-winning TD to advance to the state quarterfinals. Going from the tie game, if they would have made the field goal, to winning the game, East Ridge fakes it with this trickery, and London has just enough speed to get to the pylon for the game-winning TD against Prior Lake. They now play 8-2, Wyzata, but before they do that, they get to celebrate being the top play of the week. And as we approach Halloween coming up, Chris, that means the top plays are going to include some from the playoffs like we just... Mm -hmm. So we're going to see a lot of treats next week. Oh, wow. Yeah. You're yeah. really good. Right. Thank right. you. From this uh, treat himself, Steve Montoya, myself, Chris Stonebreaker, thanks for watching this week's Max Preps Top 10 Plays of the Week on MaxPreps.com, America's source for high school sports.